Ah, what a beautiful day here in the Commonwealth. No. Let's dispatch of all the nasties at the uh, Gunner's Plaza here so we can get this prototype. Oh, there is definitely one on the roof of Fat Man, isn't there? Well, I feel good that I survived that. What are you? Oh, hello. Legendary vampiric. Yeah, critical strike. That's good, but I think... I thought there was a new coming towards me. Well... I wonder did I get it in mid-air? <laughs> Are you? Are you engaging the hostile? How'd that go for you? So, I've got this outfit. Let's see. Hmm. I was hoping to test it out. Somewhere around here? No. Someone told me to put Piper in the suit. I don't know if it will enable her to jump higher, but it would be cool. Okay. Right, well. Even with this heavy backpack, look at how fast. And hi, we can jump. That's a pretty cool thing. Which I had this early on. Just love the ability to be able to... Woo! Majestic. Alright, who's running about with this prototype? Whoop. You want to shoot me with it? I'll give you one shot. If you kill me... Okay, well... Yeah, you have to hit me with it. Ow. Oh, you bought a frame. Woohoo! Tactical Goss Rifle. Love this. Love that I even got a level up out of it. That's that put us up to 203. Taking everything here. Up oh, onto this level. Oh yeah, the Mr. Sandman silence weapons do 50% more sneak damage. Well that makes putting a silencer on things better. Okay, well that was easy. Not much of a quest to it. Just go and go and get it. Over the moon. Oh, jet systems. Right. Uh, we'll go have a wee investigation to this one. And uh, we'll be playing ahead with that other quest. I must check that we haven't been down anywhere that the uh, Commonwealth Travel Guide has. Uh huh. Who's there? Oh. Better in our hands anyway. Ooh. I always see a legendary and I'm like, I'll pick that up. Again, and I've mentioned this a few times, but I'll say it again because I, I love to mention it. I can't wait to dive a wee bit into 76 so that the legendary drops are like really random and unique and there's loads of different ones and I know there's ones you really, really want and all, so. Operator. You want to try and scam me or something, or are you just chilling? Hey, made some good moves, boss. Guess Gage knew what he was doing for once. <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, no, he's just got the... Ooh, the mutton chops. Well, I've already been down here. Got this this little stash so I 
Oh, maybe the objective is above me. Aha. Emma's note. Emma's keepsake. What on earth? I don't know what this one is. So, let's read the farmer's note. See, what actually clogs up my miscellaneous is just keys and passwords. Which I kind of need because I do go to a lot of these places again. Um, wait a minute. I've passed it. Farmer's note. I've always had trouble sleeping. Just the slightest noise and my eyes pop open wider than a cornfield. Of course, I'd hear that ain't a bad thing. Whether it's the raiders trying to steal your lunch or the muties trying to cook you for it. If you want to survive in the Commonwealth, you gotta have your mind on a herd trigger. But that night, what woke me wasn't a noise, it was a light. My first thought was poachers coming after Bessie and the herd, so I grabbed my shotgun and ran out to where they were grazing. But somewhere between the farm and the field, I noticed the light wasn't coming from the ground, it was coming from the sky. Now, I've been known to spin a tail or two, but what I saw is... What I saw next is the God honest truth. It was my Bessie, hooves and all, f 40 feet in the air. The next morning, I tried to tell the trader what happened. They tried to convince me she was carried off by blood bugs, but I've seen them make a meal out of a brahmin before. This was different. It was like they got sucked right up into the sky. It's happened two more times since. All I got left now is Emma. She's Bessie's only daughter, and I'll be damned if I let her have her too. So I'm taking her back to the wild, back home to live with her kind. It may not be safe, but at least she's off the farm. At least she'll be safe from them. In fact, Emma's been there once before. When I rope a wild brahmin, I like to have one of my own by my side. If it it lets me know, I treat my herd well. Of course, Emma took up the spot near the back where the hub flowers grow. At first I thought she was being shy, but later I found she just liked the smell. Next time I come to visit, that's where she'll be. Ah, Deliver Emma's keepsake to the wild. What? What does that mean? That's an oddly not specific. Where the hub flowers grow? Um. Wants me to go further west? Where would Brahman graze in an area like this? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Wonder would they try and extort you if you weren't, you know, part of the crew? Right, in terms of somewhere where Grammans braze, I'm trying to think. I know there's a death claw up here. I mean, that's the, the closest thing I can think of. Very quickly, I could just dispatch this death claw. Oh, 4.6% damage. Like, poor guy didn't even stand a chance. Once one of the deadliest creatures in the game, at level 202, they are the most trivial things in the game. Especially if uh, they're unlucky enough to come across you as just a standard death claw. Not that that matters too much. Okay, there's... For some reason, without even consulting the wiki, I have walked in the right direction. Ain't that a gift? Right, I want to start running. Where should I get with the soup? Ah, <laughs> oh, Piper. Anyway. Oh, yes. Always a good wee spot to call in. Some mines, some helmets, some money. I'm actually thinking I should do a video on like every duffel bag that contains loads of pre-war money. Because I think there's a fair wee gauntlet run that if you do it, you probably end up with a, you know, at least five to one thousand pre-war money. 
Oh. It's just strange. Alien Atomizer. Uh, these are reminding me of the ones from Mothership Zeta. In fact, these are the weapons from Mothership Zeta. Once you did that DLC, some people loved it, some people hated it. I didn't mind it, I thought it was pretty good. You got these weapons, you got so many rounds to the point that just nothing ever phased you for the rest of the game. Bingo. Alien shot the top. Oh. I'll leave them in peace. That was an oddly specific quest. I liked it though, it's not bad. Listen to the strange signal. Well, ain't that just odd? <laughs> That's enough for you there. Ooh. Hey, something's out there. So, it was, oh! Do you know what? You did better than most of the raider, uh, most of the raiders in the entire commonwealth. Fair play. I appreciate that. Someone that, you know, could block an attack from me. That is admirable. I don't ever remember you being here, and I'm assuming I have like, yes. Oh, I'm good. B263, we have reports that the Institute communications are being intercepted. Until we have inspected all locations, communication must be restricted to our encrypted surface terminals only. In addition, your penthouse quarters is being cleared for any listening devices, and the new locks are being changed. The location of the new key will be provided upon mission completion. Your next targets are two synths that escaped the Institute and have gone into hiding, R311 and PR15. They are highly dangerous, so their disposal may be necessary. Recon teams confirm multiple sightings of them together near the Furline Hill Estates. I know where that is, at least. This is all behaviour for synths who have had their memory wiped, so it's imperative that this is handled immediately. Little else is known about their assumed identities or whereabouts, or what they may be planning. Continue operating under the guise of detective to obtain information that you can. Report back when the targets have been reclaimed or neutralized. Quick work of that. Ah, this is the one that gets you that, like, sweet penthouse thing. Um, see whilst we're here, Piper, where are you? Hey. Sure, take a peek. I'll let you use the shock baton, we'll see how this goes. Um, I was going to give you some of my junk. Got that, so let's bounce. To the Kendall Hospital, no doubt. Nothing in here of note. Except some blood bugs. Mm, yum. I can hear fighting. At the end of the day. Oh, I haven't been to this place in ages.
Well, uh, Raider Encampment seems that they, uh, they got attacked. I came, I saw, I got the kills, got some XP. We'll go to the Kendall Hospital, kind of wrap up the, uh, probably one of the last Radiant Quests I'll be doing. Um, till I complete the game. So, let's go get the Reflux Capacitator. Ooh. Go. All right. Why not hear the death call, Rally? Oh, <laughs> because I've already cleared it. I just went in the the back door. That's quite funny. Nothing there now. Oh, there's no way to get through this, is there? Can't even get in to kill the death claw. Mad. Well, that was. Intriguing. I mean, I couldn't clear it. Simply. So, oh, let's see, what are we. Follow the Corsair. Well, it's actually Corsair, but Corsair is like, a, I think, like some sort of uh, North African pirate, I, I think. Not right. I think that's what a Corsair, or just a Where pirate. Are the people? Let's go release our little horde, which I always love to do. Oop. You are free. Key and a mission log. Early retirement. More damage against sins. Detective coat. Cool. Wait a minute. Read the mission log. Okay. I would love a word count in this series. I would say it would be a pretty encryption key. Like, could you imagine the word count that I've went through? Like, per episode, I must be averaging, uh, let me think, well, like, a couple of words a second. Would that be right? Something like that. Anyway. Targets R328 and J904 have been reclaimed. R328 had tried to become a provisioner to stay on the move, but all it took was giving a bottle of pre-war whiskey to some farmers to find out his rip. R328 gave himself up as soon as he saw me. He knew what would happen otherwise. J904 was hiding in plain sight as a supply vendor in Diamond City. He thought surgery would hide his appearance, but I was able to get his resident history file from a confidant. After I pieced together who he really was, I confronted him in the market. He cried out to the guards that I was a synth, but nobody believed him. I've helped enough people around here that have gained their trust, and Mayor McDougall was there to back me up. I told everyone J04, Harold, as he was calling himself, had been stealing from farmers and selling the goods. Nobody tolerates a thief and they didn't care what I did to him after. I am now returned to my designated above ground headquarters to await further instructions. Target 03442 Railroad Inge Agent Brimstone has been killed. My mission to obtain his whereabouts at the railroad headquarters was unsuccessful. She hired me as a detective to find her long lost mother, but during the course of my interaction with her, she discovered my actual purpose. She had been destroyed before, so she could give. She had to be destroyed before she could give away my cover. The SRB will be upset, but the additional agent names I was able to coerce from her before death will be of value. I've been tasked with reclaiming or destroying two escapes since R311 and PR15. They're highly op optimized combat units who may have had their memories erased by the railroad. 
It's unclear if they retain any memory or they are synths. However, two of them have been spotted several times meeting in secret Furline Hill Estates, which is odd. It seems that they might remember each other, which means their memories may somehow be returning. R311 or Burner has been located with a Raider gang at Backstreet Apparel, and PR15 or Captain Jensen has been located with a gunner squad at Hub City Auto Wreckers, with the penthouse probably comp uh, possibly compromised. All the additional data I've uncovered about them during my investigation has been uploaded to the secured databank at University Point. File number SRB XRJ33806. <laughs> Sounded like a synth there, didn't it? Uh, based on what their observ observed pattern, they should be meeting again tonight at Furline Hill Estates. I'll be waiting there to get the surprise advantage. Okay. Where does that leave me with that? Kill them or delete institute records. Early retirement. So I have the choice. I can kill them or... Delete the files, but they'll still be there and you can still kill them. I go with killing them. You know, I know we're going to go into a railroad ending soon, but, you know, let's First do this. Hellburner, I actually expected more from you than that. Oh, the rocket's still there. Does the trip iron actually... Could this kill me? Yeah, the answer there. No, it couldn't. Even if it goes off right beside me. Oh, there's a mutant up there. Does he still have missiles on him? I honestly, I need, I need to tell people. People need to know that this guy is just farmable. He respawns rapidly. Like I couldn't tell you the last time I was here, and he wasn't alive. So he probably respawns every in-game day or two, and he always has a missile. He's probably the only source of a, a respawning missile person that I know of. Well, Muty. Because uh, I'm trying to think of anywhere else. I mean, there's Gunner's Plaza and all, but in terms of just a single super mutant that's never higher... He's never a higher level than just super mutant. So, I mean, well, like, past level 10, he'll die pretty much instantly if you get the drop on him. Okay, early retirement. Captor, Captain Jensen is up here at Hub City Auto Wreckers. We're going to go <laughs> wreck them. We are here and... Who's there? Do you know what? I wonder could I just snipe from here. Hey, something's out there. Do you know I am highly adept at killing gunners. I think a full luck armor anyway, but your weapon will be greatly appreciated. It's not as pathetic on you. Nothing Jensen's thing. I don't think I got anything off burner. Nah, but I did get a Captain Jensen stuff, so we'll have a little read. Or Janssen's? Is that how you pronounce it? 
Been having nightmares lately, waking up sweating, some kind of bright room, people in lab coats standing over me. I can't move, and then there's this creepy old house of people I feel like I recognise but never have seen. Been happening for weeks now, the house keeps getting clearer each time, look like the place is out of Furline Hill Estates. I'm gonna drop there for the hell of it and see what's around. You ought to be kidding me, I went to look around Furline Hill Estates and saw some raiders sneaking around the place. I snuck up on him, but he was quick. He flipped around, gone out, and we immediately recognised each other. He was one of the faces from my dream. He says he's been having the same dreams too. What the hell is happening? We met up again last night. Both of us have been seeing synth patrols sniffing around a lot more than, or a lot more lately than for some reason. Since we've met, our memories keep getting stronger. It seems like we used to be different people, and some sickos erased our memory. Who would do that? Who would rob us of our past like that? Whatever we are now, whoever we used to be, we want no part of it. Bernard and I have decided to get the hell out of here the first chance we get. When we met up again at Furline tonight, some asshole was waiting there for us. He said he had, we had to come with him, but when we said no, he tried to take us out. I don't think he expected us to fight back so hard. He's dead now, and who knows if there's others after us. We've made a pact to trust no one going forward. Anyone else comes asking questions, or we see someone we don't recognise, we shoot on sight. No hesitation. I'm getting tired of life here anyway. I've been wondering if there's anything outside the Commonwealth. Right, well, I haven't done that. Do you know what? I'm not going to leave this one lonely gunner as the sole survivor of this complete massacre. Instead, I'll do that. Oh, there's another one. Easy. Easy. Okay, University Point has the terminal for us. Okay, now that we're in the lovely sunny area of University Point. Ah, we've got to go in the back way into the credit union it would appear. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Is that some rum? Got some bourbon. So I'll just rob the cash registers whilst I'm here. Nothing to report, sir. All systems nominal. Ah, what were you hiding? Incoming message. B263. The penthouse location has been verified as secured and cleared of any monitoring devices. The locks have also been changed. The new key can be found at drop location A017. Continue covert operations as normal and await further instruction and a message. Target escapees R311 male and PR15 female. Both are highly trained combat units. Okay, we, we know that. They've been laying low the last couple of weeks and I tracked them down. R311 became the leader of the Raider gang and is going by the name Burner. PR15 assumed the name Carol Jensen and has joined the Gunners. She quickly rose in ranks to captain due to her battle proficiency. During recon, it appeared that their memories had been erased. However, the two began meeting in an unknown a previously known rendezvous point for the railroad that's no longer in use. Intercepted communications between them, they b show that they began to regain their memories and are planning them fully in the Commonwealth. This must be stopped before that can happen. Confronting them at the location would not be a good idea. The best strategy would be to wait until they're alone. Based on observations, they meet every nine days, so I'll catch them off guard. Oh. Oh, so this was everything you would have seen anyway? Yeah. That's I think okay. someone was using this as a trash can. I just wanted the... Just wanted... The XP for killing him. That's, that's really it. Not, not much more to it. Oh yeah. There it is. Sweet. Gotcha. Certainly seems secure. Well, didn't respawn any of the real useful stuff, but oh, single fusion sales. Thought it'd be packs of twenty or something. Oh, well, that's Campbell's lab done. A 
And let's go see this Pantheis of ours, shall we? Okay, so. Do we have... Alright, well there's the combat ready. Whilst we're down here, we may as well get a few of the things for this. So we're kind of ducking and diving between combat ready and that. Early retirement will go there. Um, retrieve the penthouse key. Well, may as well just go down to Quincy anyway and get what we need in the ruins because I think it's no longer under the command of gunners. I believe it's mid man because we won the battle. Although I've cleared it out that many times. Quincy should have become a settlement. Like, it should have had traders had like it should have been like a good neighbor after you liberated it and the Minutemen took you know take it over and some settlers appear like even if you didn't know control over it oh my god is it just always going to be a war zone when i show up here i don't know why i was playing a more interesting way to kill gunners Almost forgot where the diner is. Either they're in here or they're on the roof. Although my money's now on the roof. Because why would they be here? Got it. Oh no, they are there. Take that back. Not last one. There are plenty of them we've got left to kill. Ooh. You set me on fire. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'll take everything off you. Need much more T60 though, come to think about it.
Death from above. Ooh, T45. Can't say no to that. Right, combat ready. Read that, purchase that, obtain the pine tar from the dugout. So I need to go to Good Neighbor. Where's the guide? Where's that Commonwealth Travel Guide? Let's see what places we've been to. We could kind of... You made it to Quincy, where Mary Jane and I live. There's a lot to see and do, and honestly, I don't know where to start. Tell me about the people here. Well, there's Mayor Jackson. He runs the place. Sloan, Irma, and especially Sturges are handy with a wrench. The Long family run, of the run one of the stores in the neighbourhood. And of course, I can't forget about Mama Murphy, who's a bona fide fortune teller. Where do you live? Well, we used to live in a place near Fenton's Foodstuffs, but it's been rented out now that we're going on this adventure. We did talk about eventually fixing up a home a little further south near the Peabody's, somewhere with a little less hustle and bustle. If you're reading this now, I bet you'll find us there. <coughs> How did you meet? I was coming out of Fenton's carrying a crate of potatoes. She was heading out to the gun store with enough firepower to mow down a ten-story death claw. We ended up bumping into each other, dropping everything. It was love at first collision. Great, and now that you... Oh. Maybe I can even show you around. After all, I promised to be your guy and aim to honour that. See you soon. Okay, so... We can actually do a few missions here with the guide. So we'll go to the... We'll go to Good Neighbor. We'll uh, read the guides. We'll be doing like three missions in one here. So we'll be reading the guides for the travel, buying the drill bit, and then we'll be heading to get the penthouse key. So we should get a good dent into every single one of these quests, if not finishing most of them today. We're looking to get stoned or stabbed. Okay. Ever been to kill or be killed? Hey, Daisy. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Screaming? Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. Hmm. So you need some supplies? Uh-huh. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't. Oh, a hunter's tune anti-material rifle. Well, we gotta buy everything. Outcast. Oh. Cool. And another solar cannon? But we already have one. Ah, that one doesn't count. Um, a Jules Mercenary outfit. Ah, these are all from the, uh, what do you call it? They're all from Content Creation Club, and they're not really unique as such, so they don't count. Though I will take the Captain Cosmos. I may need a lot of them in the future. Do you have oil? No, I must find out who sells all the oil. Argent Plasma Shell. Oh, the UAC. The Union of Aerospace Corporation. You want 90 apiece. What? Crazy with them prices. I suppose I could just give you a lot of the stuff that I've uh, I picked up and probably won't be using. reason I thought that meant more than I'm getting there two perceptions kill cool. like Give you something I carry an awful lot of. Where is it? Now I'll just make up the different stem packs. The 
There we go. Drill bit. Sweet. Pip. Got. Good neighbor. Excuse me. Hey, you made it to good neighbor. Not an easy thing to do these days, of course. I've heard inside town might be even more dangerous, but luckily there's a really helpful guy named Finn selling insurance. Mary Jane thinks I'm an idiot for paying him, but he seemed like a trustworthy guy to me. It's extortion. Well, Finn did look a little mean, but you can't trust a book by its cover. At least that's what they say. I can't remember the last time I even seen a book that didn't have the cover ripped to shreds. Besides, I'm sure all the rumours about Good Neighbour are way overblown. The place hasn't been shady since the war. And back when Mary Good Neighbour was doing strip teases at the old Howard Theatre, Magnolia's show was a lot tamer than that. A ghoul bur burlesque show would be fun. Hey, I can't say there hasn't been a time where I asked MJ to do one of them husky ghoul voices. Those are sexy. Anyways, hope you enjoy Good Neighbour, and while you're in town, don't forget to take a trip down memory lane. Tell your past self I sent you. Additional commentary. Don't cry, MJ. It'll be all right. A month or two ain't so bad, and I've lived long enough. A, a light. I've lived a long enough life for most folks. No, we're gonna find another one. There's a dock at Bunker Hill too. It ain't no use, you know that, I know that. We could put wings in a pig, but it ain't gonna fly, but we can still finish the guide. I don't give a, a damn about the guide, Lily, but you do give a damn about me, and I want to finish it, so you're gonna bite your tongue and listen to what I have to say. There's no way we'll make it to Sanctuary, Lil, and that's not where I want to spend our last days. I didn't say we were going to Sanctuary. I don't understand. I love you, MJ, but sometimes you can be thicker than a Yaoguai. You mentioned Bunker Hill, right? Well, the caravan traders there pretty much have gone everywhere there is to go in the Commonwealth. If we asked about Sanch Sanctuary and Concord and everything up north, we can probably finish the guide without ever stepping foot in those places. Alright, but after that, we're heading back home. Boy, okay. brother. You hold on to that. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. I'll take a look, sure. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Right, do you have anything, like, new now? A ghoul slayer triple barreled homemade shotgun. Look at that. That's actually quite cool. I'm going to just buy that just for the heck of it. We've bought more or less every unique weapon in the game. Yeah, um, I do need another frame, actually, whilst I'm here. And a shipment of oil would go a long way. Because we're running out. That being said... Probably sell her some rounds of some ammunition I've got. I can give her about 3,000 of this. That'll do. Cheers, Cleo. Um, I'll take... Yeah? I'll take you now. Why not? I need more of these. A lot more. Um, I think once I hit the million caps, I'll probably just end up buying frames. Because I'm just going to have to keep hauling loads of them. So, yeah. Let's check out the memory den. Need to sell some junk? Head to Daisy's discounts. Whoa! Now that is some art. Alrighty. Ooh, there's something I need to do whilst I'm in here. Ooh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? So, Irma, I need that feather dress, because that is a unique, two-charisma-boosting thing that I need. Irma's terminal password. Is that part of a quest? Anyway. We did it! Woohoo! Okay, with the dress secured, we get a little read. Memory Dan. Anytime you're in Good Neighbor, you'll want to pay a visit to the mysterious memory den run by a sultry hostess by the name of Irma. This literal trip down memory lane is a delight for any traveler, provided you've cleaned out your, the, your skelt here. You've cleaned out your closet of any skeletons. My closet is nothing but skeletons. What do I do? In that case, I turn around and head straight to the third rail. To be honest, I ain't much for looking back anyway. You can't live with the past, and you can't run away from it either. Ah, uh, but I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure most memories are pretty harmless. Some are even good. When I hopped in, I saw the day I met Mary Jane. As long as you're ac ac accentuate the as long as you accentuate the positives, you should be fine. There's a song about it if you haven't heard. I'm the type to accentuate the negative. In general, I'm positive. Yeah. So am I. I like to think if we ever met in person, we get along great. Well, I hear. I hope your next trip down memory lane is a good one. See you back in the present. 
Desk Farm. Mine. Alrighty. So, now that we've done that, we've just got to do the baseball thing and read the Artemis's mod. Munger Hill Diamond City. Okay, um, I'm going to get the penthouse key. Oh, it would make sense to throw this off at Starlight Drive. And plus, I think that's part of the, the guide, the travel guide. I want to head everywhere so that we can say we fully did every single piece of the content creation club. Look how cool. Who is interrupting me? Damn raiders and their annoying spawn points. Look how sick this looks. There is something strangely awesome about this to me. And I know, I made it. And I've seen similar designs, but even still, I think it's because it's it's mine. Uh, we just need an original T-51. Actually, whilst I'm here, it would... Or, yeah, original T-51. And I need to offload some stuff, so... I'll get around to that. I'll do that now. Why not? Armor rack. You can have the... Early retirement, the detective, and... Yep. Hey! Oh. Away. Armor rack. You can have the Hunter's Manuel Rifle. Although, I suppose it would be better if we just have a little uh, place for this. Oh, is that another anti-material? Oh. I cast... Oh yeah, the tactical gauze, I need to... Uh, Upgrade. Oh man. They really went all out with this one. Class. This could, this could end up being a really powerful weapon. Hey. Wait, what? You can upgrade this? And give it weave? And make it red? Uh, I'm glad this came towards the end because this is just silly. But in a really fun way. Oh, I did say to someone that I would give Piper this. Piper! Piper. Piper. Imagine that was smiling, Larry. It won't be. This isn't his root. Also, I don't think he. No, it's Lucas. Okay, I don't know where Piper's went to. Is she in here? Oh. Hey, Hancock. Hey. There you are. Hey. You say the word. Okay, well, the thing is, the suit doesn't exactly cover. Heads up. Every Where bit of her. Um, I'll, I'll let it stay on just for just for a bit. <laughs> it still sits so good. Right. I'll make a blue one. Mark five bits, and we'll give it ballistic weave, which makes me nigh indestructible.
Lobber. Missed. I have no adhesive. Oh, look at that. I didn't know we could make Nuka, Nuka Revenge better. Nuka Revenge, now he gets the... Ooh, this one. Nah, I'll take the desert camo. Shit. Right, let me just put away some of the stuff. Well, I suppose what I could do is just repair all these. Equip, and all we're missing for this is a helmet. Um, oh yeah. We can do the aquatic one for this. Even though this is not what I said I needed to do. Well, I want to see what the aqua cam camo looks like, so... And it's funny, because, you know, bar armor isn't really for the water. It is nice, though. Okay, what are you... Okay, where's the T60? T51. Left arm, right arm, helmet. I've already got a helmet. Didn't need that. Uh, left leg. Right leg. And torso. Hey. All repaired. Awesome. Uh, wait a minute. Is this what I need? Yes. Is indeed what I need. I also need a power armor frame over that way, so... Okay, adhesive is dangerously low. I might actually have to spend some of my money just to sort that out. It is a shame I'm going to have to use complete T51 to just show that it's an original T51. For some reason, it just doesn't have the rust color that the rest do. Yeah, that converse. Uh, so, I think as I was saying uh, in the previous episode, once we finish the content creation club, we'll move on to the railroad. Like that is the, we will take a pause on the power armor, not because I want, you know, not because I, I really, really want to, but because 
I do want to get all the endings out of the way, so we can just... I, I kind of just want finishing up to be doing... Like, getting a million caps. Uh, you know, getting this place really nice looking. Getting all the weapons, items, power armor, displaying everything nice. Like, that's, that's kind of where I want to be at. So... Check, that's the way this should be. That should be a Brotherhood of Steel one there. That's all the originals. Um, this is a winterized one, but winterized doesn't extend the... Uh, I think it does T45. I mean, I could put an Institute one, and it could kind of look similar. Um, might do that, so they just all look like they're winterized. Uh, then we have the Aquatic, the Swamp, the Desert camos. And then with all the gunner ones. So. What's this Gauss rifle like? Please tell me it makes the same sound effect. It's cool, but I just love the one that just fired. And you like, you didn't have to crank to reload. Like, what's the cranking all about? Why, why do I gotta crank that? Ah well. It don't matter. Starlight Drive-In. Sounds romantic. This is one place I really wish I got to see, but from what the traders tell me, it's not exactly the kind of place you want to bring a date. At least not anymore. But still, I would like to have seen it. Just me and Mary Jane take a stroll under the stars. The stars were on the screen, not the sky. Can't they be both? Unless it's cloudy that there every day. I'm sure there would, that would be a downer for whoever came up with the name. False advertising and all that. By the way, speaking of romance, do you have anyone in your life, someone you'd like to take to dinner in a pre-war movie? Not yet, still looking. Well, don't give up just yet. I'm soon I'm sure there's that special someone just around the corner. Or the next one. I mean, it can't always be a it can't always be a feral. One of these days it might be your future spice. Anyway, I've pried enough into your personal life. Let's talk about the next location. Okay, that's a few more visited. Getting through them rightly. Uh See. Yes, the dugout. And the key. We'll do the key, then we'll go to the dugout. Postal Square will probably be a good place to drop in. I love landing in the middle of a gunner stronghold. Okay, I've had my fun with that. It's time to swap into other things. Wow. I did not do what I wanted to do. Let's try you. Well, let me explain one thing. Despite the increased damage, I can assure you, I am not having something that's not automatic. My new jumping skill. You leave him alone.
Anyways. Enter the Pentice. Ah, another place that makes use of Hub 360. They, they really went above and beyond trying to use this place, didn't they? Alright. Where is it? So we know the Hubris Comics is there. We know perfectly preserved... Well, let's, let's just see. Maybe, maybe Luck's on my side. Luck of the Irish! No. <laughs> Didn't work this time. Ooh! I was just straight in this way. Nice. Hmm. I must say that I'm guessing the skybox hasn't loaded correctly or something. Um. Wonder if I save and reload. Hmm. Okay, I've reloaded. I've turned the game off and on again. I am not sure why this place looks like this. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably would be really cool if it didn't. Like, I'm sure this place is pretty neat looking. I'm just going to look around and hope that maybe it loads in or something. My eyes. Oh. Let's see. Penthouse cleared. Terminal based communication and data storage may resume. Suspend communications. Communications from this location must cease immediately. We have reason to believe that the Institute communications are being intercepted, so all surface locations must be inspected and cleared before communications can proceed. Please log additional information to the hollow tape and upload your data to the secure in Institute terminals only. You'll be notified when communications can resume. The Institute has recently assigned me to do undercover surface work disguised as a human detective. An old penthouse in Hub 360 has been refurbished to provide me with a safe, clean headquarters. Getting in and out of the building itself can be tricky while the super mutants are around, but I manage. I am to assist humans in the Commonwealth with personal cases in order to build my reputation, while widening the network in which I can obtain information about the enemies of the Institute. I've been hired to complete my first case as a detective. A man believes his brother is a synth and wants me to investigate. This situation could not be more perfect. If he is, in fact, the known escape synth, he will simply be reclaimed and brought to the SRB. A report has come through of a possible railroad field agent called Brimstone. Maybe seeking personal assistance to find a long-lost relative, and I have been instructed to do everything I can to stage a run-in with her. She may have knowledge of the inner workings of the railroad, including the location of the headquarters. I mean, it's like slowly loading in the floors and everything. I, I just don't know why it's taken so long to load in. There's weapons, workbench, chemistry station, another one. Ah, same journals. I will take all the restored desk fonts. They are coming with me. I can just leave these things here. There will be no fixing of power armor here, that's for sure. just oh like a workshop you'd think it shouldn't be very glitched uh, everything's just clean sleeping at the well rested perk Wait there. Okay, I'll be here then. Aha. Uh -huh.
Done and dusted. We've cleared this place out. Let's go. Alright, so the plan is in the next one we'll be finishing Carbonated Concerns, a place to call home, and the rest of Way Back Home in Combat Ready, which isn't too far away. So from this point I'll make my way over to Diamond City, and uh, we'll complete that. And uh, yeah, I think I think next episode should clear up the Content Creation Club, hopefully. we we'll move on to some endings. Uh, so we'll put a pause on the power armor and the million pound caps, although I might do maybe a few wee runs just in between. I'm so close, but it's slowed down drastically over the last couple of days because, you know, there's lots going on. And I've been recording New Vegas and Skyrim. So, yeah, busy bee. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.